Hi, I'm Sean Bolin with New Horizons of Nebraska. I'm going to talk to you today about cloud training and how that affects your business as you go to the cloud. One of the misconceptions that's out there is once a company goes to a cloud-based infrastructure, that their training needs stop because the technology is going to be running in the cloud at that point. And that's really not the case. In fact, it's exactly the opposite. One of the things you might want to think about as an initial level of training when you're going to cloud training is just understanding just exactly what type of cloud environment you're going to. A good way to do that might be looking at some of the CompTIA courses, specifically the Cloud Essentials or Cloud Plus. What that's going to do is that's going to give you a really good basis for what type of cloud infrastructure is going to be best for your company. Is it infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, application as a service, etc. Once you have that knowledge under your belt, then what a company can do is transition over to and look at training on the specific platforms that you're going to be using. One of the areas that you can consider cloud training for is, for instance, the Microsoft cloud environment. One of the more popular cloud environments is the Microsoft Office 365 cloud environment. What that's going to do is that's going to give the administrator the ability to understand how their local network environment interacts with Microsoft's Exchange and Office 365 in the cloud and just exactly how to manage that. That's going to give the administrator the knowledge they need to understand how the hosting is working in the Microsoft Cloud environment and what they need to do to connect their Active Directory environment to the Microsoft Cloud hosted Active Directory environment in order to get the Exchange, the Skype for Business, and the SharePoint infrastructures running as you need them to run in the cloud. A couple of other examples, Microsoft has their Azure cloud environment, which is where you're taking virtual machines and running them in a cloud environment. Again, the hosting is being done by an external company, by Microsoft in this case, but each company is still gonna have to have administrators that need to know how to build those virtual machines, how to link their local network infrastructure to the Microsoft Azure infrastructure in the cloud. Again, there's several cloud training offerings from Microsoft covering the Azure platform. And it'd be really important for a company to make sure they understand all of those details as they go forward. It's not just limited to companies like Microsoft. Cisco, for instance, is coming out with a CCNA cloud offering more geared towards the network professionals, but understanding how does networking work in the cloud? How does a company connect a local infrastructure, network infrastructure to a cloud? And how does the networking work inside of the cloud from one virtual machine to another? Again, a key skill set that a company would need to make sure that they have in-house before they move to a cloud environment. Another example would be the VMware cloud offerings, whether it's vCloud Air, Horizon Air, or simply building your own private cloud for a company hosted in your own data center. Courses like the vSphere Install, Configure, and Manage, or the Horizon with You Install, Configure, and Manage are going to be key technologies and key courses to get under your belt to make sure that you can manage that virtualized environment that you're running with a VMware infrastructure. So as you can see, training doesn't stop once you go to the cloud. It really changes and enhances what you need to address as a company as you move towards a cloud environment.